We preach the importance of goals. Setting solid outcome goals is a central part of what we teach in management education. There is a large body of evidence showing that general goals are more effective than no goals, specific goals are better than general goals, more difficult goals, to a point, lead to more productive behavior than easy goals, see, for example, Latham, 2004. Kerr, 1975, pointed out the importance of choosing the appropriate goals. His ideas and other research led to the conclusion that outcome goals produce better performance than activity goals. Almost without exception, research has supported the efficacy of goal setting as a central part of providing direction to an organization. See, for example, Mitchell, Thompson, and George Falvey, 2000. One of the best examples in the use of academic outcome goals in the United States is the University of Wisconsin, Oz Doubt, a Baldrige Award recipient in 2001 which is still measuring outcomes. In its application for the award, it used several key measures to assess its results, graduation rates, percentage of graduates employed in their field, average salary of current graduates, and average salary four years after graduation. The focus in this institution reflected the students' key requirement of finding employment in their areas of preparation. Collaterally, the university focused on the key requirements of its second key stakeholder, employers. In developing its educational programs to meet the competencies required by employers, Ostout's graduates would be desired in the work environment. Ostout used these quantified outcome measures to track performance and align programs toward meeting these organizational outcomes measures. Instead of just looking at number of graduates as a measure, the university focused more on the quality of the program in developing employed graduates and how well they met the needs of the employers. This is a radically different approach than that used in most universities. Many of them may look at employment rates at graduation, but they seldom do much about those rates, and they hardly ever use those data to improve program performance. There is a failure to really define outcome measures and then use those measures to drive specific curricular improvements. It may be because curricular matters are considered the purview of the faculty not the administration or it may be that there is not a clear shared vision of the values, visions and mission of the university among senior leadership, staff, and faculty. In any event, goals are not a vital force to shape the quality of the learning that goes on in most universities.